Hi everyone. Happy rainy Saturday. Um, so today didn't go as planned. Shocking. <laughs> but uh, everyone has been by and stamped their cards that wanted to go ahead and stamp their cards. And I just wanted to put a, a video together that you could refer back to. And then we can zoom together uh, at, at any at any point, guys. I mean, it's it's kind of kind of getting late today, but uh, I'll send a survey around and we'll see what we can what works for everybody. Um, so this is the March Card Club, and we use the Butterfly Brilliance stamp set. Um, might be that might be the bundle. I can't remember the name of the bundle. Anyway. Um, it is gorgeous, and you've got a full pack of the paper in your kit, as well as um, some prepped cards, some cardstock, some die cuts, and uh, I used the uh, Happy Thoughts stamp set. Um, I did use one stamp from Comfort and Hope, and uh, both of these stamp sets are retiring, so if you like these, don't wait to get them. Um, but I thought we would just go ahead and, and make these cards and or at least, you know, go through explaining them and then we can zoom together and uh, actually put them together later. All right. So I'm going to switch cameras and I need to get this out of my way. And I'll put me over there. Okay. Well, let's see if that's if I'm. Okay, gosh, for a minute there, I thought I was in the wrong place, like in somebody else's group in the wrong place. All right, so these are the four cards, right? So this one, and this is Comfort and Hope, but you could swap out for Congratulations from Happy Thoughts or any other greeting that you like. I uh, used Versamark ink and white embossing powder on it. This die cut in Calypso Coral, of course you can see the Wink of Stella that's all over it. Um, there were no embellishments in your kit this time. Um, typically, you get half a pack of paper and then some ribbon and embellishment. With this one, because the paper was actually sold out at the time um, I prepped the class, I felt like I should go ahead and give you the full pack and... Um, so pricing wise, it worked out that you got a full pack of paper and a wink of Stella instead of breaking up the paper. And, um, and I hope you like that. I hope that you'll make some, a lot of beautiful butterfly cards. Um, this one, oh, sorry guys. Um, so that one, and then this one, this one is a little different. Okay, we're going to spend some time going over how we did that. And then this one is just real basic. Uh, and your card can open, you know, you can cut this any way you want to. I I don't know. That's, that is what they are. So let's jump in. I'm going to jump back to my document and we can just go in order. So the first card in the stack is this one with So Saffron. And I don't think there's anything... Uh, tricky with this one. Sorry, just opening up a pack. So here are those. So I've already done the die cutting and the embossing. And I'm just going to cover those with Wink of Stella. I don't know if you guys need me for anything on this one. Let's see if I can find my Stella. I just opened a new one recently. But I'm really just going to paint this on, make this little butterfly all kinds of glittery. The embellishments that I used on mine are champagne rhinestones. But you are free to use anything that you like. It was nice to get together with a few of you today. 
I'm looking forward to some some times that we can get together on the porch and then eventually we can get back together in person have a real class with a bunch of us around the table all right that's all I did for that and then I think that I will probably stamp both of these with the comfort and hope some work. And here is this Comfort and Hope stamp set. Let that dry. So as I mentioned, both of these stamp sets are retiring the Comfort and Hope as well as the happy thoughts. Versamark is a clear ink and it's just sticky, so it's a good one for heat embossing. Also gives a really subtle tone on tone effect. It does take time to dry and that's, that's the whole purpose. That's what makes it so great for embossing. I'm going to keep my white, my white embossing powder in a little container so that I can just sprinkle it on. And then I'll get a heat tool out. Okay. Then um, the dimensions for cutting the uh, designer series paper are in your instructions. They are um, they are one and a half by three and a quarter, and I, I used dimensionals behind the calypso coral, and I used a dimensional behind the so saffron circle, and the butterfly I just put on with glue dots. All right, so that's all there is. To this card and like I said we can zoom and talk about any questions that you have and I'll finish the assembly then all right and the next one I believe is this one this thinking of you and I'm actually not going to use thinking of you this time I think I might do well no, maybe I'll stick with thinking of you. It's hard to know. I just walked my thing, didn't I? Here's that stamp set if you want to take a look. I love this little swirly mess down here. I did a Facebook Live and used the blending brushes with this stamp set a few weeks ago. Here is the thinking of you. In the happy thoughts mm. and it's, this has got greetings that would go well on the inside too right so um, thinking of you I just wanted to send some happy thoughts your way um, all right let's find the envelopes for it So you have a, a smaller white layer 
right? That is for your designer series paper to go on. The larger one is for the inside of your card. And then of course you have your label. And I'll probably stamp the inside with the other greeting. So I'm actually just gonna get the large pieces out and the labels. These butterflies, you're going to cut from your designer series paper and the large one piece die. Let's set that there for a minute. And thinking of you, I'm gonna stamp in memento black. just eyeballing the straightness. Just a little off to the right and down. And then just wanted inside the ribbon I used is the pool party sheer ribbon and it goes without saying that I did a cheater bow So next month, this class will fall on April 24th, and I am featuring the snail mail oh, Nala has come to visit. All right, so that's the stamping for this. These dots are the in color dots. So your card base is um, Bermuda Bay, and these are the Just Jade. But I thought they worked just fine. Um, and you know, you can take your Stampin' Blends and make your rhinestones or pearls any color that you like. So that is card. Number two. Oh, you know what? I didn't put that in its envelope. Set that in there. All right, card number three. Oh, the cat thinks she needs to climb me. Now, this is the one. Hello. So I can't see a name, so I'm not sure who's watching. Somewhere you should have a, an option to let Ecamm post your name. We're going to stamp happy birthday on this one. And this is the card. It's not the stamping that's the tricky part. It's getting these pieces right so I'm gonna get out this piece of paper and I'll do one now and then when we have a chance to zoom I'll do another okay so and I think I did say that use that single piece, single piece die to cut out 
the butterflies in this piece of DSP. So for this card, and this, I cased this from my friend Cindy Westerning, I think is how we say her name. And um, hers was so perfect, I really did it just the way she did it. So um, the first thing, this it goes on the inside, so it needs to be a width of uh, a height of five and a quarter. So I'm going to cut three quarters off the bottom. Okay. And then, so this is six inches across, and I'm going to cut it. Where are you now? Come on. Um, okay, first I'm going to cut it at three and seven eighths, and that's going to give me the piece for the inside. And then the next cut is at, why can't I see this? Cut two and three quarters. Then this is the middle panel, and this is the front panel. I'll go ahead and make this one with you so that you can see how that fits together. And then if you're not able to make the zoom, you'll know what to do. All right, so I'm going to stamp this in Melon Mambo. My card base is Melon Mambo. And maybe a little more towards the bottom than the top. I don't know that it really matters. Okay. Let me clean this so that I can get it out of our way. This card you could do with any de designer series paper. Um, and I can't wait to try it with some others. I'm not sure that there's room for this. Uh, today is great because it's all about you. Um, I don't think that would fit. So, all right, so inside your envelope, you have the two vellum birthdays. You've already cut the die cut but butterflies from your paper, and you have this white piece, and you have a piece of eight and a half by 11 that is scored at four and a quarter, and then it is scored at one and a half. All right, so make that a good score line. So take your DSP and, you know, put it back together to make sure it lines up. Okay, so this is right, middle, and left. Okay, we're going to start with the right. And it goes straight down on the left side of this white layer. I need to go find a barrette. And I still have Coastal Havana ink under my fingers from last night. All right, and that piece goes right here. And then this is a large panel. This is what really threw me off. But this skinny piece goes right here. So are you already thinking about the next print of paper that you'll try this with?
I think it's really cool where you know we've got these butterflies that are kind of cut in half right now this one is going to come here so it's just the left side so I'm actually going to put my adhesive here line that up so it covers up the white like that so it opens up like that but you can see All right and then this piece is just going to come right back here this is cut with the ornate borders which is a die that's retired die set that's retiring And then this one so you could even put your butterfly down first Let's see where my butterflies are so I'm going to add it with a dimensional It's about there, and then yeah. What I don't want to do is I don't want my butterfly to hang off the left edge, so that kind of determines where I place how far over that place that circle. Okay, and then this little vellum guy, I'm gonna put on top of that die cut, that DSP butterfly with the glue dot. And the other one, I'm gonna put down here. And I followed Cindy's lead. <laughs> and used the elegant faceted gems for these guys. And I used the frosted ones the first time. I think I'm gonna use the clear ones this time. There you go. So that is that beautiful card. So much easier than it looks, but you gotta get the hang of it, right? Okay, now for the last card, we need to, so let me talk about what I've given you. So you have a quarter sheet of black, and I did that so that you could decide whatever greeting you wanted for your card, right? Um, you might want something that is, you know, you might want the happy birthday and it doesn't go all the way across. It's a, you know, it's something that you punch out. So you have options and that's why. So you have one half sheet to share between your two cards. Right, I'm getting out these two white pieces because I need to stamp on them and then we're gonna cut them out. Oops, sorry. So I need the Stamparatus. I've already got my butterfly mounted on this. I set that there. Can you see? Maybe I'll put it down here. Um, and I've stamped it so that I know where this is going to land. So I can decide how much of the butterflies I want. So you can see that my butterfly comes off the edge, edges of my card.
And I think that's pretty good. So I'm going to put a stamp set under here so that when I ink this up, I've got a smooth surface. And I am zoomed in, so you probably can't see everything that I'm doing over here. I want to make sure I get it inked up really well. And then bring it over and just press. Because the butterfly is bigger than my paper, there's really not a place for me to put the magnet. But I got a great image, so I'm pleased with that. And that's all I'll do with it right now. I'm just going to do the one because uh, I want to show you what to do. Okay, then take out this. This is the same die that you used to cut your, um, your, your die uh, from the DSP, the big sheet of butterflies. Uh, Alright, sorry. Got too much stuff in my way. I need to get this out of the way for a moment and bring over the cut and emboss machine. plates. So here's my stamped piece. Now I'm going to line this up. That looks pretty good. Now sometimes I use a little piece of washi tape um, or this post-it tape that I have. Okay, you want to go back that way? That won't work. I need you to come this way. All right, now I need all these little pieces. Get that out of the way. Okay, come over here. All right, and these are all my cut butterflies. And I'm done with that die. Now, I am going to color the white space around the butterflies with a um, misty moonlight blend. And so that's what gives it this darker edging. And then I glued it down flat to the Misty Moonlight card base. So I can actually pick this up and do it. And I'm working with the brush end of the blend. Typically, this is how you color with your brush end. You color from the side. And I'm not going to color all of these while you watch. I just want to show you.
I cased a uh, demonstrator from the UK, Emma Goddard. Um, she did. She achieved this look a little differently, um, but her way seemed to be more work. <laughs> so imagine an artisan stamper that um, But yeah, basically I'm just coloring up to the edge of the stamped image. And then once you've got this done, you'll just get these and you've got your cut edges already telling you where they go on the card and you'll just line them up and glue them down. This white piece was the same size as this Misty Moonlight. So you'll glue it down and then you'll uh, heat emboss your sentiment on the black paper and you know cut it out by whatever is appropriate for that shape and you're done. All right? So um, thanks so much. I hope that this was helpful and I will uh, set up a Zoom call. I don't even know when to set up. I'll send a survey and see when it looks like um, a Zoom would be best to do. All right? I hope that you are staying dry, staying safe, and uh, thank you so much for purchasing this class. I hope that you love it, and I'll see you soon.